morning. How are we doing today? Back seat, one family, no diapers. Grace Ministries is our food distribution that we've had for about 10 years now, and uh, it's you know, feeding the community. Uh, we partner with the Capital Area Food Bank, and uh, you know, it's a great impact to the community. And uh, you know, this is our mission's focus. We've decided that we can make a bigger impact, you know, provide good like this. In, in our, our distribution process, the individuals drive up to the church and we register them outside and they usually end up taking the loop all the way around the building. And as they register, they're basically in line, queued up. They pull around to the front of the church and we open up the trunk, whatever, place the items in there and you know, try to be positive and friendly to everybody that comes in. Being a part of Grace Ministries is like something special to me because I always enjoy seeing smiles on other people's faces and helping out is just something I like to do. So I enjoy it. <laughs> The FDA provides a lot of food, um, no expense to church. We do the yard sale, we make the money, and we use money to buy the food. Um, mainly what you see behind us is $2,000 worth of food that the church paid for with the money we made at the yard sale. And we break it down and we try to figure out how much we can give each person aiming, you know, like you said, our goal is 300 families. So we try to figure out how to make 300 of each bag for each person that comes in that can get a bag for the family. The Charlotte's Gift Bag. We founded it in 2008. We started growing in 2010. We brought the gardens here in 2014. And our main goal is to grow for grace. The food banks aren't getting fresh vegetables. So we started growing and giving the vegetables straight to the food banks. It is so inspiring to see somebody just smile because they're getting something they need and somebody is giving it to them. Yeah, the need is always yes. increasing. Yeah, the uh, last year uh, it was really significant in that every month it increased. I still think we're going to hit three eventually. Yeah. There's never not a time that we don't need somebody to help. Exactly. exactly. Anybody that can walk can help. <laughs> and anybody who can help makes a difference. Hi friends, I'm Burke Cloud, the pastor at Sterling UMC. And one of the key parts of following Jesus is to love our neighbors. Now, there are many ways to do that love. And our Grace Ministries has been an incredibly impactful expression of that love for many years. We are so blessed to work with some great ministry partners, including you. Many of you have helped that ministry happen and have helped it adapt to the needs that have increased over time. So I want to say thank you. As we follow Christ into our broken and hungry world, we have a lot more to do, and I'm thrilled that you and I have an opportunity to be part of what God is doing.